Previously on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The Pope told me about you and your little group of assassins. Andres! Give me the gun his friend fashioned for us. We've had too much bloodshed. I think the cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family! To yours! Another auditory man falls. Counts up to four, I believe. And that's where I left it off for you guys. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This is episode two. We will be walking our way through it. Basta! I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone retreat to the villa! Ugh, I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! Ezio! I feel like she's always in trouble. Dude, come back. Get inside the sanctuary! The kill chains are just so nice. What a relief. You know, Assassin's Creed 1 felt like a bit of a chore, the combat in that game. And then Assassin's Creed 2 was a pretty big step up. Well, I think this change is less dramatic than that one from 1 to 2. But, bam, it is, it is like, it is a quality of life increase, I'd say. Go, Claudia, go, run! I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. <laughs> Let me through. I must go help the troops. Hurry, Ezio! Hurry, we're bleeding, dude. Where's Mother? Is she all right? I am here, Ezio. Grazie, Dio. Could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. Always love the sanctuary. I'll probably do a video on that. It's a lovely room. Where is Mario? I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town! Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse. You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? To Roma. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. Doesn't look like we're doing well. Welp. It was good. Ezio Trilogy ends there. Only two. Two in the trilogy. Lucy, I can't seem to get a position on Ezio's POE. POE? Could one of you tell me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican. Minerva talked about other temples, that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. To find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait, we're at the Auditore Villa. Yes. It's our last safe house in Italy. It turns out the Templars are watching the border. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be remembering something else. Like a memory inside a memory? 
Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly maybe? I believe you experienced something similar back at Abstergo, didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory-like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Desmond's not pregnant, at least, well, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. Can you skip ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access Altair's later memories until Desmond had improved his synchronization. Then it's possible something similar has occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. This place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded to cell towers ages ago. The waves go through everything above ground. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. Love going back to Monterejoni. Now it's modern day. Looking as fine as ever. Never mind. Looks like a ruin. There's a beam blocking it from the inside. We're not getting in this way. What's our next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not a good place for us to be right now. Do we have any tarps? We need to cover up the van. I really hate to stress this, yeah, but we are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something. It's so cool being back in modern day. What a good idea. Follow me. And we can hop over this ledge. Nice. Desmond, that was pretty awesome. It just felt natural. We can get in through here. Good job. We'll just wait up here then, shall we? Yeah, all alone, with, with massive targets painted on our backs. <sighs> Why won't this turn on? It's great to be out of the Animus. This isn't exactly my idea of a good time. Well, let me guess. You're more the embedded six type. What? Desmond? I know how to have fun. Oh, that's very convincing. Yeah, I'm convinced. Okay, okay, after we save the world, I'll show you. Wait, can I get that in writing? <laughs> we have light. And here we are. The tunnels below Monterejon. What was that? I don't see anything. I'll probably leave most of the dialogue in. Run! Get out before these soldati catch you! Correte! Go! They escaped through here. What? Ezio and the villagers. After the attack, I can see them now. I know it's difficult, but try to compartmentalize, Desmond. Focus on the present. What if I can't stop the visions? How long before I start painting symbols on the walls? Don't joke about that. Sixteen is dead. We're focusing on the present, okay? Great, it's stuck. I can get under there. Ready. Any chance you can lift that gate? Not unless you want me to end up like that skeleton. I'll find a way around. Anyway, I'll probably uh, leave the dialogue in, but maybe go through some of the puzzles a little bit quick. You know what I mean? I think that what that's I what makes the most sense. I can drop into the corridor below through here. 
Watch out for bats. Where? I meant in case you see any. Remind me not to make you a lookout. Beautiful area down here, though. Love the fact that we're able to explore. Although I will say it's a little... Uh, well, you'll see. It's a little complex. Makes me wonder why the heck it would be this wild. Desmond? Uh, more ghosts. I'm here, okay? Stay with me. Did anything fall on you? No. Is Mother all right? Desmond, we can't climb this. How about you give me a boost? That's a bad idea. I could throw you into the air and you grab the ledge. Even worse. Follow me. How about this? What are you going to do? <gasps> nice job. I aim to please. I wonder how old these tunnels are. Middle ages, probably. Luckily, the beams still hold our weight. After all this time in the Animus, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but you're really getting fat. Ouch. I even told Rebecca to widen the Animus. Seriously? No. Up we go. Ready. You know, when I came here last... When Ezio came here. Yeah, I meant Ezio. I shouldn't put you through all this. It's not right. Hey, all joking aside, I'm having the time of my life. It's thanks to you. Just focus on where you're going, okay? People who've played Assassin's Creed 2's DLC will recognize this as the Auditore Mausoleum uh, that sits beneath the city. And uh, yeah, these are our ancestors. Well, the, the ancestors of Ezio and Desmond. Very cool, and it will be in a video soon. When did this become my job? If I pulled all the levers, then what would be left for you? Nothing. Nice try. Ready? Found a switch! Something's open! Ezio gets a bath with Katarina Sforza, and I get a swim in a toilet. I've got this one! There's another lever up ahead. Come over here! Man, it's freezing! Stop whining! It's easy for you to say. You aren't swimming in medieval toxic waste. Ugh. I smell terrible. You're exaggerating. Appreciate it, Lucy. Thank you so much for all your care and uh, love. Much obliged. Remember, this is the time of your life. Yeah, yeah. Ah. 
Ready? Go for it. Okay, release it. How come you don't have to get wet? Because you're here. Charming. Aren't I? I've got you. Thanks. Ezio! We are on the other side! Hurry! Cazzo! Ah! Dio, salvi! Great, the bridge is out. We can't jump this. I have an idea. You'll have to help me. Stand at the edge and get ready. Ready. Huh. <sighs> Made it! Let me see. Oh, you go on ahead. I'll just stay here to die in the dark with the bats. Jump across. Nice work. The bats will be disappointed. For now. Soldati, I have found an entrance. All right, we can go down here. Or we can... Okay, we can go down here. Perfect. This is quite the uh, intricate and intense underground for this city. Um, I just want that noted. Seems a little overly complex. I'll wait here. Good. Let me just go and get that bridge down for you. Uh, I did the last one. And I'm sure that will be your last one. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Got it! <laughs> Thank you, Desmond. Now it's my turn to even the score. There. Thanks. It's a start. Do your magic. Up you go. Thanks. We make a good team. Okay. Sanctuary. Also, for some of you eagle-eared out there, you will remember that that music is from Masyaf from Assassin's Creed 1. A classic. Ezio must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond! Right. Let's open that door. Try using that special sight you learned from Altair. There's something here. 
Can you open the damn book? You guys did it. About bloody time. What's that? Looks like something Ezio left behind. There are numbers underneath it. 1419, 1420, and 1421. <sighs> Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa, they really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage, no cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. Okay, everything's good here. Sean, hide the van in town, and make sure you aren't followed. What? What is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. It was Lucy's idea. Wait a second, guys. We need power down here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps? Maybe you'd like me to, to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine. Follow me. Okay, my original thoughts here are that I should explore Monte Rajoni and show it in its full glory in modern day, what it looks like. But I think I'm going to save that for a video specifically on the iterations of the town throughout the games. So I think we'll, uh, this will be a bit, a bit brief. Ooh, but, do you remember this room from Assassin's Creed 2? That is where we put our map. That's the, uh, upstairs that leads to the secret assassin room and where, uh, our mother was. Very weird to see it now, but I'm so glad that they brought us back to here in modern day. I just think it was a really good idea. One, it allows them to reuse models, so it saves them time, but also gives players a sense of time, of evolution during the game. Love it. Right, look around Monte Regioni for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little doodahs, they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. And we have made our way to the brothel. Oh snap. I doubt it's still a brothel though. I'm back. Just in time, the sun's rising. Yes! It's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Work, Alex. Let's get started. Absolutely, Lucy. Let's go. Good idea. I wonder where we'll wake up. And that's where I'm going to leave it today. Another cliffhanger, I apologize, but I promise I'll cut it out uh, in the near future. Thank you so much for watching episode 2, and uh, look for episode 3 later on. <laughs>